Hi everyone, Bill Greenberg with PhoneScholar.com. Today is Tuesday, March 29th, 2011, and here's what we got going on the website today. Check out the full articles, go to www.phonescholar.com, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about them right now. And as always, follow us on Facebook at PhoneScholar or on Twitter at PhoneScholar. So here we go. How to jailbreak your iPhone 4 or 3GS even on iOS 4.3, and this is really cool. Richie Jennings from Computer World put out an article that literally shows step-by-step -step, uh, instructions on how to do this. Now, for the I, uh, iOS 4.3, the phone must be tethered as opposed to untethered. So, unfortunately, if you reboot it, uh, the phone, it will wipe out the jailbreak. Um, but So, it has to be tethered, it has to be attached, in other words, to the Mac or PC to be able to do this. Uh, for the Mac, you're going to use Pawnage Tool. For the Windows, you're going to use Snowbreeze. I put links to both of these at the bottom of the article, uh, so go ahead and check that out. And then you're also going to have to have iTunes 10.2.1, and as I said, there's detailed instructions. So if you want to go ahead, if you haven't jailbreaked your iPhone yet, uh, go ahead. What's the disadvantage of jailbreaking? They say possibly that it will allow third-party malware in there and some other things because you could take out some of the security issues. But so far, I've had plenty of people that I know that jailbreak them every single phone they've had and never had a problem. So check it out. Next, Droid X and Droid 2 get unofficial Android Gingerbread 2.3. And here's yet another thing. This is a leak. It's not the official put out there by Verizon or by Android. This is a leak from Droid Life. And how these leaks come out and everything, personally, I'm not 100% sure, but... They're out there. And then there's a video also from uh, My Droid World. Now, uh, the link, I also put links to the routing, excuse me, on routing and instructions on how to download the OS. There's a link to that. You do need to root your phone again. So now you're asking me, well, why would I do this leak as opposed to waiting for the full download? Well, first of all, it, this looks like it's going to have just about everything that's in the full download, number one. And number two, but why wouldn't I want to do it? Well, again, and this is proven that sometimes if you root the phone, you are going to be taking out some of the security issues and you will be more susceptible to malware and things going into your phone. And that kind of has been proven. But again, I know tons of people that have rooted their phones and have very little problems. So I don't see any problem with this. Uh, again, links to everything on there. Check out the video. He shows the gingerbread on the Droid X. It looks pretty terrific. Uh, and I think uh, you'd really enjoy your phone with that. So there you go. Next, Firefox 4, Android launched, ready to sync and speed up your browser. And this is really cool. I just launched Firefox 4 on my PC, and I really like it. I like some of the new upgrades, some of the things you can do. One of the really cool things is a promo video on this that shows how you can uh, have complete coordination between your desktop and your mobile through the uh, Mozilla uh, Firefox Sync, so that's really cool. It also does tab browsing, and it literally has threefold in speed over the stock Android browser. So uh, I think, it, I've always used Mozilla, I think it's a terrific thing, and I think you should um, go ahead and do that for yourself. I think you'd enjoy it. This is for Android only, though. And next, American Express introduces an, their e-wallet. And this is available now, and it's available for the iPhone and Android phones only, not BlackBerry right now. Uh, and basically, it, um, excuse me, it, it, it's now competing with the, the products that Visa, MasterCard, and PayPal have out there. So American Express, because remember, remember, American Express doesn't have debit cards or anything like that, and so they're not hooked up with anything like that. So they're kind of losing the race here. So this is one way to do it. And of course, I do have a link to the site. So it's called Serve, S-E-R-V-E, Serve. I put a link to the site on there to help you do the steps to downloading this for your phones. Again, um, Android and iPhone. And it'll give you the ability to send money back and forth to people through phones. Of course, buy online or get credit cards. They're really good. Here we go. Under Categories, under AT&T, excuse me, sorry, under Apple. No hardware announcement at Worldwide Developers Conference in 2011. The Worldwide Developers Conference, which is where Steve Jobs announced the iPhone 4 last year, is June 6th through 10th, and that's every year, and it's a big, huge Apple event uh, where all the developers and people who are making applications for the phones can go and talk and listen and see and mingle and whatever they do at a convention. Uh, and Every year there's been an announcement, uh, some kind of uh, equipment announcement, but this year they're saying there's not. And this is actually backed up by my Droid, excuse me, uh, my Digital Life and, uh, excuse me, All Things Digital, sorry, with Walt Mossberg and Engadget have also backed up these stories. And it goes one step further that one of the uh, Asian manufacturers has said they haven't even started production of the iPhone 5. 
So they're saying that it may not come out until uh, January, February of 2012. And if, there's also one more update saying that it's supposedly that Apple has not uh, even said started production or is not going to do a release until after their fiscal year, which ends late September of this of 2011. So again, here's the rumors again. We always get rumors every year of Apple. Everybody speculates because they're so hush hush. But it does look like and that would on, honestly make sense. Uh, I know the iPhone 4 users who have had them for a while uh, are might be upset, but this gives the iPhone. The Verizon iPhone 5 users at least a year of using their phone and not be upset about the fact that three months, four months, six months after they bought their phones in February from Verizon for an iPhone 4, now an iPhone 5 is available and they can't get them. So um, they don't, and Apple doesn't want that PR nightmare. So let's see what happens. Next, Sprint begins Kyocera Echo Reservations. It also challenges you to a duel, and this is really cool. I went on the website. There's a link. The Echo, remember, that's the, the dual screen uh, Android phone that's going to be coming out April 17th, and you can go and reserve one for 200 bucks minus a $100 mail-in rebate. They said there is going to be limited quantity, so if you want one, this is one way to get it. But on the actual website for this is a game where you duel against uh, guys breaking bottles and stuff with your mouse and and uh, your space bar. And it's a lot of fun, and you can also sign up to win uh, one of the Echoes. So go ahead and check out the link. I think you'll really enjoy it. Lastly, AT&T slashes uh, Windows Phone 7 prices again. And um, basically, the, just the LG Quantum and the Samsung Focus are now both 50 bucks. Now, part of this is because the Windows 7 phones, honestly, are not doing tremendous. Part of it is because there's probably going to be replacements fairly soon. Uh, I would also check out Amazon. I'm sure they're going to have... They, they already do have tremendous pricing on all these things. The only thing you have to be careful with Amazon is they have their own $250 early termination fee on top of the AT&T one after six months. If you return it within six months, in other words, you will be hit for $250. Uh, it is a limited time only, and they even put out the BlackBerry Curve is $30. The BlackBerry Torch is now $50, and the Captivate's $100. So big sale at AT&T. Check out the website uh, and see if there's something there that you want to get. That's all I got for today. I hope you have a great day. I may miss tomorrow. If I don't, I'm very sorry, but I got some stuff that's going on, driving all over the place, doing my taxes and things like that. So I will try to get on tomorrow. If not, I will see you Thursday. Have a great day.